everybody, Natalia here, and welcome to my third Tea Time video. Uh, in these Tea Time videos, I just sit down and chat with you about what I'm working on and what I'm feeling, so this is going to be a really casual, relaxed kind of video. Alright, so first things first, I want to tell you how my fairy novel is going right now. Uh, so as you know, I started this novel in November for NaNoWriMo. I wrote 50,000 words, but I really struggled to get those 50,000 words down because I just wasn't liking where the story was going. So I finished NaNo in November, totally scrapped it except for the first chapter, and then restarted the story with a kind of new plot. Uh, so I have been working on that new fairy novel now since December, and it is going quite well, I'd say. Uh, I am currently working on chapter 13, I'm almost done with chapter 13, and I'm sitting at about 40,000 words. So, still not up to that 50,000 mark that I hit in November, but I'm definitely working on it. It's a bit of a slow process because some days I write 2,500 words and some days I write 200 words. So I definitely am very up and down with my word count. Uh, as far as it goes like day to day, but I am working on it regularly. So that is really, really positive and I do feel like I'm moving forward with it. So what I sat down to do today, I haven't written yet today, um, but I did start working on like a synopsis, like a draft synopsis, and I haven't gotten very far yet. So I do have a video that's like how I write a synopsis and I will link that up here somewhere in the cards if you want to watch that. So that video is me writing the synopsis for Way of Spears. Now, I use five main like points when I'm writing a synopsis, and that is to introduce the world, identify the protagonist, identify the plot trigger, what the subplot is, and then the main plot problem. So I base my synopsis off of those like five points, but I'm kind of struggling right now to write my synopsis for my fairy novel. So, all I have so far is this, and this is totally unedited and it's only like three sentences, so here we go. <clears throat> Charlotte Barclay wants two things. To get through her junior year of high school as quickly and painlessly as possible, and to get accepted into the music program at the Bellini Institute, a prestigious Italian university. Her plan is in motion and her life is on track until her mom goes missing. That is all I have so far. I wrote that this morning, I wrote a few more sentences, got rid of the sentences, wrote some more sentences, got rid of the sentences, so that is all I have at the time being. But I just wanted to let you know that I am working on the synopsis at this point. So when it is finished and I feel really good about it, I will probably do some minor tweaking and then I will be able to share it with you, which I'm really excited about. Also, I do think I decided on a title for my novel. Oh gosh, am I gonna share it? Let me have some, let me drink some of this. I do have a work in progress title for my fairy novel and it is The Song of the Dryad. Now I have had this decided, this work in progress title decided for a while, maybe like a, a month or two. I just wasn't ready to share it for whatever reason. Um, but I am really excited about the title. I really love it. Um, I would like to get your feedback on it, you know, if it sounds you know, I want it to sound kind of magical and kind of mysterious and fairy-esque. So the Song of the Dryad is what I have so far. I am working on the synopsis, working regularly every day on this novel, and I am definitely seeing progress. Um, the next thing is that Camp NaNoWriMo is coming up in April, and I usually participate. I wasn't sure if I was going to participate this April, but I have decided as of this morning that I am going to participate in Camp Nano. I'm going to be aiming for 20,000 words, I think. That's where I have my word count, like my target word count set right now is at 20,000. Um, I haven't done the math. Let me do the math and see how many words a day that would I would need to be writing. That would be about 667 words a day. I think I can definitely do that. Um, you know, like I just said, there are some days where I don't write very much. Maybe I write only a few hundred words. But since I've been doing these Write With Me episodes, there's always one day a week that I really dive into my manuscript and get a lot of words written. The past few episodes that I've done, I've written like 25, 2600 words. So that is wonderful and I plan to keep on doing that. So I definitely think I can hit 20,000 words in April for Camp NaNoWriMo. 
and that will put me, let's say I write like maybe 10,000 more words this month, that'll put me at 50, and then 20,000 will put me at 70, so I'll be getting closer to the end of the novel. I'm guessing that this novel is going to be around 90,000 words. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing it's going to be 90,000, because I, I still feel like I'm in the beginning of Act 2. Charlotte is certainly on her quest now. She has just discovered the first quest item that she needs. So I'm on my way, but I'm not there yet. Like, there's still a lot that needs to be done. So I think it's going to be, I think this book is going to end up being longer than Way of Spears and Highborn, just because there's so much more that I need to do, and there's so much developing that needs to go on. So there's a lot that this novel needs still. Uh, so yes, if you want to be in my Camp NaNoWriMo cabin, please let me know and put your username down below. Uh, your, your Camp NaNoWriMo username, that is. Um, because I have started a private cabin, and I want it to be a group of us that is kind of in this YouTube, AuthorTube, BookTube kind of community. You know, we already know each other and are talking, and we love books and writing together, so I would love to have that community on Camp NaNoWriMo. So, if you are interested, again, put your username down below so that I can invite you into my cabin. I'm also going to be posting this on Tumblr, Twitter, and my Facebook, so you can also send me your username on any of those social media platforms. On a different note, I have been watching Outlander. Now, when this first came out, I saw it everywhere. It was like filling my Tumblr feeds because people were so obsessed with Outlander. Now, I have not read the books. I don't know if this is one of those cases where the book is way better than the show or the show ends up being better and more popular than the book. I don't know about any of that. I just know that I have not read Outlander, but I am watching Outlander and oh my gosh, I am in love with it. The first couple um, episodes, I was like, ah, oh, this is slow. I wasn't really interested in watching her life in 1945. I was just so ready for her to go back in time. And now she has, and I am borrowing it from the library, so I'm getting to watch it for free, which is awesome. And I'm just getting to the end of Season 1, Volume 1, uh, and I have one episode left, and I've been holding out because I put Season 1, Volume 2 on hold at the library, and it just came in today. So I'm going to finish up that last episode today, and then I'm going to go and pick up volume two from the library so I can continue with Jamie and Claire and I'm just so excited. I love, love this show. I love Scottish, Irish, Gaelic, Celtic kind of culture. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, there, there are standing stones in my novel. There are standing stones in Outlander. There are witches and magic and it's just, oh, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. I love it so much. So I will probably be fangirling over that a little bit. Um, don't spoil me, please, if you have already watched all of season one, because I'm only about halfway done with it. So don't tell me what happens, because I got spoiled for The Red Wedding in Game of Thrones. I got spoiled for that, like, months in advance, and I was brokenhearted. So if you love Outlander and you've seen it, let's share the love, but don't tell me what's going to happen, okay? All right, what else is there? So... This has been fun, just kind of chatting with you. I am working regularly on my novel. I am working on the synopsis so that I can share it with you. I am proud to announce that my work in progress title is The Song of the Dryad, so I will now be using that title on my Pinterest, my Camp NaNoWriMo, like all around. I'll be using that work in progress title. Um, let me know what you think of it, please. I will be doing another Write With Me episode this Saturday, probably, so you can keep an eye out for that. I usually upload it either on Saturday night or Sunday morning because I do so much writing and filming throughout the day that I have to wait until the evening to edit, and sometimes I'm too tired to edit it and get it uploaded Saturday evening, and if that is the case, it'll be up on Sunday morning, so just be watching for that this weekend. Thank you so much to everybody that has been following me and supporting me along the way. I really appreciate all of you. This is such a wonderful, fantastic community, and I'm really thankful to be part of it. Uh, one more time reminder, if you're doing Camp NaNoWriMo and want to be in my private cabin, please post your username, your Camp NaNoWriMo username, down below or share it with me on some other social media. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to catch you in my next video. Bye!